Her name is Karen, and she's not very happy. This two-ton rhino does not want to be held in a concrete pen. But an international team of scientists have picked her for an extraordinary experiment. And if successful, Karen may save a species from extinction. Yeah, anesthesia is always dangerous in these kind of animals, and in rhinos um, in particular. Frank Goertz is a scientist with a steady hand, and we found him getting ready to knock the rhino out. Ready? Let's go. He fired two darts filled with sedative at a spot just behind Karen's left ear. Immobilizing the animal in less than 20 minutes. Then the scientists got to work, trying to turn this rhino into a mother with fertilized eggs or embryos created in the lab. Cross our fingers, we are quite optimistic, but uh, for sure, uh, in my heart, I, I'm pretty sure that we succeed. The future of the northern white rhino may depend on it. It is one of Africa's most magnificent animals, but after decades of poaching, they are effectively extinct. Sky News filmed the last male, called Sudan, just before he died in 2018. There are two remaining females, but neither can reproduce. But Dr. Thomas Hildebrandt and team think they can rebuild this subspecies with science. The beginning of new life. They've used frozen sperm and eggs collected from northern white rhinos to create a small number of precious embryos. But they don't know the best way to use them. We have uh, created so far three embryos, transferable embryos from the northern white rhino. But before we do the full procedure to transfer it into a surrogate mother, we have to know that the system is working. That's where Karen comes in. Scientists are trying to create the first test tube baby in a less endangered southern white rhino, like this 17-year-old. And we watched as they tried to plant an embryo in her uterus or womb. They lost it on the first attempt, but this microscopic organism was discovered in a plastic tube, and they managed to implant it on their second try. This is the embryo, yes? Excellent. It's all about angling and, uh, you know, little details. So we attempted a second time, and then at that time, the, the catheter really went into the uterus very smoothly, and we tried to put it very, very close to the ovary, to the oviduct. And uh, yeah, now it's uh, up to her. And the scientists told us there were grounds for optimism in the yard. They'd used a sterile bull called Kimba to stimulate Karen before the procedure. The, uh, the timing seems to be really good. The bull has uh, indicated to uh, us that he was interested in her about four or five days ago and he seemed to be right about this. <laughs> if, if anybody knows, then he should know. However, Karen has taken a different view of the proceedings. She survived the experiment, finding her feet after an unexpected snooze, but the pregnancy has failed, we understand. Karen will not carry a calf, and the scientists must find another way to resurrect the northern white rhino. John Sparks, Sky News.